Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome to our YouTube channel. Oh, when I Okay. It was the summer of 2008. She said, I would cook the marathon with a date. Now raise it last 10 years of matrimonial cake. We celebrate. Now we're stronger together. Never better. Go getters, trendsetters, Black Panthers, the anthem. We the max and we only getting better. Hey. Life is but a dream. <laughs> Hi, loves. <laughs> Hi guys! Wanted, I've always wanted welcome to, to say that. Welcome to our YouTube channel, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the very first episode of Life that Is But a Dream, dream with, with the Max. The Max. Bo, 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 bo. We're so excited, man! We're so excited uh, because um, yeah, because this is really in honor of a celebration of our tenth year anniversary. Can you believe it? Ten years, Papa. Ten years. I I to barri, push it, push. Barri, barri first comes the ring. <laughs> then? Then comes the safari. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be a show that's really just going to um, take you through our personal journey, you yeah. know, of what our relationship has been like. And yeah. Yeah, if we can just uh, drop a couple of gems and just really share what that journey has been like, you know, yeah. for both of us. It's been, it's been incredible. It has. It's been... It has. Hard. Suffering. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, been, it's been interesting, uh, but more than anything, has been blessed. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we just uh, we want to share a little bit of our journey with you, and I feel like it's going to be a great one. Let's get into it. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I want to start here. I, I want to start with something that uh, that we always agree on. Okay. How we met. Do we always agree? On yeah, that? yeah, yeah. We always agree. <laughs> So I'll go. Okay, you so go. So what happened, guys, was I, I used to play in the church band. I was in the I was in the worship team. Bless the Lord. Praise God. And yes. And uh, I used to play keys. I still do. Mm-hmm. But COVID. But that's collab. Mm. So I play keys in the team. And uh, my wife walks in and she saw me and she was like, that's my husband. Uh, in other words, she hit on me. Oh. She definitely came. Baby, you shot your shot. <laughs> like, it's okay. Guys, yeah, but it's, ladies, it's okay for you to shoot your shot. I mean, look at us today, 12 <laughs> years later. Guys. Anyway, okay. and she shot her shot. And today we're married 10 years. That's not how it happened. How did it happen? So I heard from the Lord. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, somebody. So, Turn to your neighbor. Okay, no, wait, 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 wait. So what happened was, mm. it was my first time at this church where my husband grew up in. Mm. So I saw him and I just knew, you know, what, you know, when God speaks to you guys, you know, I, I just, I just knew in my spirit that, that handsome one. Good. The dark <laughs> chocolate handsome one. And then what happened? And then fast forward to... Five months later, we got seven. In, you were waiting got, to hear from the Lord. You I, had, I had already, seven. I had already heard from the Lord. Oh, you, you were. Did waiting. I say seven months? Well, no, 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 no. So she said. So my wife said to me that, no, she wasn't ready to introduce herself to me because she knew oh, that yes, yes, if yes. we met, I was gonna want to marry her, of and course. she wasn't ready. Yes, 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 yes. So I think I had heard from the Lord. Yes. And right. his word is final. Cool. Anyway. I'm not disputing that. Yes. So, but 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 <laughs> she then didn't introduce herself to me because she was like, "Look, I feel like if I meet this guy, he's gonna want to marry me, and I'm not quite there yet, even though I've heard from the Lord. So I just want to chill a little mm-hmm. bit before I introduce myself to him, and then I as collab." And then <laughs> we were introduced by a mutual friend. How? How? Wait. <clears throat> How were we introduced, babe? I bumped into this girl in the bathroom at church. And right. I said, listen. Okay, it, she wasn't actually a mutual friend. That's yeah. how we became friends. So I bumped into her in the bathroom and I said, listen, man. 
you know abuti abuti nya no omo nice omo right nya ana o tlhala piano i'm a piano sure <laughs> and um what's his name you know and is he seeing someone whatever 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 and then you know she told me his name and then introduced me to him and then the rest is history so you shot your shot <laughs> so it's 10 years later now yes right yeah 10 years and two kids yep later we've got two beautiful baby girls yeah. we've got a 7 year old and a 2 year old the 7 year old is lehakwe and the one year one eight, year 8 nah, eight, eight months 8 eight months yeah is liruo yeah yes and i'm lerato see what we did there mm, triple l sure, in <laughs> <laughs> and yeah and you know they say hindsight is 2020 right yep um so looking back on our journey would you do it again would you get married again would you i don't know i don't know i guys i feel you know what you know what i feel like ne? i feel like i feel like This is awkward. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's honest. And this is one thing that we're going to speak about. Yeah, and yeah. It, these are the kinds of conversations that we have, yeah. you know, privately. So, first of all, mm. I know that I wasn't ready. You know? Oh, Lip, can I yeah, yeah, jump yeah, in? Yeah. So, we got married very young. Larato proposed to me he was 22 mm. and I was 24. Yo, Nick is speed. You know, I like You know how I like them young. No, you know how I yeah, prefer them. Sure. With more experience. Sure, I'm done. So, yeah. Yeah, you know, um so I I was definitely young. We got married. I had just turned 24. Mm. And I don't know if I had had myself figured out yet. However, I don't know if you're ever completely ready. You know yeah. what I mean? Some things you just have to go through in yeah. order to to know if you are ready. I feel like I wasn't I definitely wasn't ready there were a lot yeah. of things that I needed to work out and I think we'll unpack these kinds yeah. of things over yeah. over time but what well, well, I you know babe like I was I was really thinking about it because I think leading up to our 10 year anniversary we've been having these um honest conversations and initially I also had the sentiment that maybe we got married too young you know because remember you're young you're trying to figure yourself out mm. and then there's this person that you're also trying to figure out but then i thought about it and i feel like everything happened as it should have mm. you know i feel like it was god's timing for sure you know and, and i think i'm also glad that we learned those lessons when we did and at the age that we did mm. you know because I always say that there's that sweet spot in marriage, mm. you know, after figuring each other out and going through the motions and going through the challenges. Not saying that we don't have challenges mm. now here and then, yeah. but I think we've figured a lot of things out and we're still young yeah. to enjoy for sure each other and you know, just during that that dig a digging time. You no, know, the sweet spot. <laughs> oh, the sweet spot. <laughs> Yeah. Era tiga tiga, I but know. sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. But it's a, so, 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 so. Somebody asked me a very interesting question, um, and I came home and I asked you about it. Yeah. Um, I was sitting with a couple of friends. I was at work, and um, a lady asked me. She said, "What is the purpose of your marriage?" Mm. And for the life of me, I was dumbstruck. I have an answer for everything. At, at least I think I have an answer yeah. for everything. You know, and I was dumbstruck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and she said, and she said to me. What is the purpose of your marriage? And I I couldn't answer that. And I came home and my wife is actually the one that has the answers to everything. So what what did you say to me? What did you say that um the purpose of your marriage was? I think for me, you know when I got married, I I was ready first of all. You know, yeah. I think as young as I was, baby nikila piste ko jola hai. Not not that khali ki jola bad. No, 
no, no, no, babe. Don't oh, do no, that. Uh, no. no, don't do oh, that. Uh, <laughs> don't do that. No, no. Okay, no. Yeah. So, so before I met my husband, I was in a a long term relationship. Mm. I was dating someone for three years, you know, and um, it wasn't the best of relationships. And I think after that relationship, I had, I had made up my mind, you know, I had, you know, resolved. Is it resolved? Mm. Resolved that, guys, aksabato jola he mujolo. You must fall. No, no, no. Because spelling say eucalyptus, like, <laughs> like diabo, you know. And I yeah, think yeah, yeah. I had just decided that um, I want to get married, you know. And the next person that I'm gonna be with is my husband. And and I thought about why I wanted to get married and what the purpose of being married would be. Mm. And and for me, it was revealed to me that Lenyalo is is a ministry. Yeah. You know, it, it's a ministry. Um, you are but a vessel, and God will use this to do what He pleases with this. Mm. You know, so for me, I think that my understanding was the main purpose. Even though I didn't understand how God was going to use our union, yeah. but I knew that it was a ministry, and it was designed to touch people's lives it was designed to expand the kingdom it was um designed for god's glory mm. you know and over the years you know which we will we will get into in our next um chapters and next mm. episodes just really what the ministry has meant to us and what um we have learned from it yeah yeah absolutely and you S- S- yeah um <clears throat> i was hoping you had gonna <laughs> Still ask the question. Look, I'm still defining it, but but one thing I do know is that, um, you know, marriage is a partnership. Yeah. It's a partnership where you carry a vision um, that is supposed to be carried into the next generation, mm-hmm. you know. So it's a partnership where um, you basically need to sit, figure out um, your vision for your marriage, figure yeah. out your mission, which is what, you know, I was saying to Marf that we need to do uh, for our anniversary right now. You know, I'd mm-hmm. really like for us to sit down and figure out what is the vision of our marriage? What is the mission of our marriage? And how is it that we can create a legacy that can be passed on to generations mm. way after us? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. What, I mean, babe, we've been, so we've been together for 12 years. Yeah. Married for 10 of those years. Mm-hmm. What have you learned? What valuable lessons have you learned from being with me? As I wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've learned that I've learned about God's love for me. Mm. You know, I've learned that I am I'm worthy to be loved. I think mm. I haven't experienced God's love as much as I have through mm. marriage. You know, God's loving power, God's forgiving power, God's... Um, you know, patience for me and the way he always sees the best in me, the way he always sees the God in me. You know what I mean? I think that for me mm. has been the biggest thing, you know. Um, mm. it's It's been the greatest thing that has, has ministered to my heart, you know. Aww. And you? Yeah, that's really sweet. Do you know that you're telling me this for the first time? Oh. I didn't know that. Hey? Oh, I love you. I love you. Oh, I think for me, what I've learned is I've learned a lot about companionship, Mm. you know, and just I've also learned a lot about unconditional love, you Mm. know, Um, as Lerato was saying, I don't, I don't always, he's very gracious, by the way, you know, my husband is very gracious. Um... You're very gracious and um, you're very patient. As much as you thought that you're patient and you didn't really think that you're patient after mm-hmm. you got married, I I, th- I think that that's one thing that you've held on to your patience. You're very gracious. So for me, I've learned a lot about unconditional love. You know, I think, babe, like one thing that I know for sure, for sure, for sure, is that you love me. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, sure. like I don't have to. Like you, you love everything about me. You know, I'm, I'm confident to say that 
my husband loves me and I know it, you know, and I, and I don't have to be anything else or anyone else. I don't have to, to cover my scars. I don't have to cover my, my flaws, you know, I, this is such a, a safe space, a safe space yeah. you know, and, and I really appreciate that. I love you. <laughs> you look beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Hi, Wayne. Thank you, baby. Baby, please go to the disclaimer. Guys, disclaimer. We're not always going to look like this. Please. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is our 10th year anniversary um, look. Get up. Get up. Okay. You know, this is in celebration of our 10th year anniversary. This is not the benchmark. But you always look like this. No, babe, I me. don't. Aww. You do. Yeah, but, but this is not how we always <laughs> look. So please, next week when we come back, just... Gonna come in sweatpants. <laughs> no makeup, you know. So, mommy. So let me give a shout out before I forget. Yeah. This face that I don't want to take off. I'm going to yeah. sleep like this. <laughs> this, I was touched by an angel. Her name is Zuki Raoleka. Amazing, 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 amazing uh, makeup artist. Follow and just her. an incredible human being. And let's talk about the hang. Woo! Come on, somebody. Honey, Turn listen. to your neighbor and say glory. Inches. <laughs> Can you inches? <laughs> yeah. So this amazing hair was done by Curly or Not amazing amazing hair salon they only deal with natural hair maybe not only is it only but they're mainly in, mainly they're natural yeah. hair salon check and them out my best friend owns the salon yeah, so, yeah. and this um was done by god hallelujah Mr. Hensel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, yeah, we're looking forward to having a great journey with you, yeah, man. Just having a great I'm conversation. Really excited. And really uh, excited. yeah, man, I, I, I wouldn't have wanted to get on this journey with anybody else but my best friend right here. And I remember, babe, remember and you were a bit, um, you weren't really sure about yeah. starting a YouTube channel. And yeah. I think you, you had said, what was your, your reason? Uh, baby, wait. <laughs> We're starting it. That's the point. Okay. Yeah. You don't want to just qualify. Well. But I think. But I'm happy I'm doing it now. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. So I just wanted to say that I I was I was a bit nervous about thinking that I was an authority on yeah. a certain subject, especially the subject of marriage, because I know how flawed I am. Mm. But then at the same time, I also recognize today that well. Nobody's really qualified. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. All we are doing is sharing our story, and I would be doing an injustice. Thank you. Sorry, and I would be doing an injustice uh, to people that um, you know need a little bit of hope, need a little yeah. bit of perspective, yeah. need a little bit of you know. Uh, if we don't share our story, yeah. and so here we are. And I think like like what you're saying, babe. Like we we are flawed. You know, as much yeah. as I, I think, like you always say, I think I'm perfect. <laughs> you you're close but i think like we're saying that ministry part yeah where where god can use anyone for sure do you know what i mean and i think being together for 10 years there's so much that we've learned on this journey mm. you know and we're not saying that we're experts on marriage we're not saying that we we know it all you know but i think We've learned a lot, you yeah. know, and we just want to share our journey. Um, and we do realize that um, we we might share, you know, similar stories with other people, you know. So we're here to learn, continue to learn more about each other, you know, learn more about marriage and to grow, to grow, all you know, together. Absolutely. So please go ahead and like this video. Yes. Subscribe, like. guys. Please comment below yes. on, you know, whatever you guys are thinking <laughs> and whatever. I, I never thought that I'd be doing this. Oh, my gosh. Guys, like, subscribe, <laughs> do all of that good stuff. And then there's that other one where What's you ring one? the bell. Oh, notifications. Turn on your notifications. <laughs> yes. Turn, your, turn on your notifications so that you know uh, whenever we upload a new video. Um, it was such a pleasure hanging out with you. It was a pleasure hanging out with you. 
Love you. I love you. So let's do it next week again for our next video. Peace and blessings. This is Life is But a Dream with the Max. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. <laughs>